Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. Good morning, I'm Aisha Tolliver. Here are your Saturday morning headlines. We're on top of breaking news out of Franklin this morning, and that's where officials are investigating after a house exploded late last night. You're looking at photos that were sent into our newsroom overnight. Fire crews tell us they responded to the call just before 11. It happened at a house on Cameron Street. Sitting on your side was on scene last night. Franklin Fire and Rescue Captain Tim Dunn tells us two victims are seriously hurt. The extent of their injuries are unknown at this time. We want to ensure they want to ensure rather officials that the Virginia State Police have proper time and access to the site to conduct a thorough investigation. At this time, the cause of the explosion has not been determined. We're on top of more breaking news out of Portsmouth this morning, and that's where police are investigating a shooting. It happened just before four this morning on Airline Boulevard. Officials tell us a woman and two men were injured. This morning, we have learned that they are expected to recover. At this time, we're working to learn if police have a suspect in custody. We're going to continue to follow these breaking news stories throughout the day, and you can look for updates on the Wavy News mobile app and on Wavy.com. This Saturday marks 15 years since more than 30 lives were lost in the mass shooting at Virginia Tech. 32 people were killed, 17 were hurt when a gunman opened fire on April 16, 2007. Two of the students who died were from Hampton Roads. There will be memorials and remembrance ceremonies on the school campus this weekend. Alumni chapters in Williamsburg and the Peninsula will also mark the anniversary with events ranging from a garden cleanup to a 3.2 mile run walk at Fort Monroe. And we've got more details about those events on wavy.com. Happening today in Virginia Beach, Relevant Church and local nonprofit, The Restored Woman, will host their third annual Easter basket giveaway. Event leaders say they plan to give away over a thousand baskets. The event kicks off today at noon and will go on while supplies last. There will be bounce houses, games, food, and prizes. And if you're looking for more events that are happening across our area, we've got a list posted for you on wavy.com.